The Fall Estate has new merchandise available. Every purchase goes right back to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mama Mia, Ola, uh uh uh, peace to y'all. Get off that stage, boy! Quit monkeying around! It's amazing! The merch is amazing! It's amazing! Subscribe now. Welcome to the Fall Estate. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Today, we have the number one show for you. Dating, relationships. It is the most, one of the most important things that men and women have to learn to deal with. And I have some experts here. No experts? <laughs> <laughs> I have right here to my right, I have with me Michael Strider. And Michael is 48 and he worked for the Department of Homeland Security. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you. And also next to Michael is Alicia Perkins. Mm -hmm. And Alicia is 28. She's an actress, singer, writer, and a DJ. Mm -hmm. You a DJ? Yeah. That's amazing. How, you, how did you get into that? Well, I was dancing in different clubs for a long time and got to know some of the owners. And I wanted to do an oldies night because nowhere else was doing it. So I started. And then after that, I got three other clubs after that. Wow. Yeah. So you like rock and roll? You really doing yeah. it? Yeah. Did you party along? Mm-hmm. And next to um, Alicia, I have Nick Dorado. And Nick is 20 and is a construction worker. Welcome, Nick. And last but not least at all. <laughs> Is Clementine. Hi. I am Clementine. And Clementine is in her mid 30s. She's an actress and writer. Correct. How did you get into that? Started out with acting, and then the evolution of that, just being the storytellers that you want to create content and yeah. have more of a voice. You like it? I love it. I love the element of film to connect to audiences. And so are you married? No, very single. Have you been married? No. Nope. Why not? Um, it's not a priority for me to be married. I'm still trying to figure out my place in this world and my purpose. And I've had a couple of long-term relationships, but I always felt like it was holding me back because as the woman and the nurturer, I would make more sacrifices to sort of be a good partner. Really? Yeah. Would you try to nurture men? Um, would I try to nurture them? Yeah, you said as a woman and nurture. Do yeah. you nurture men that you date? I think in a partnership, if you connect with someone, naturally you're going to want to just be loving and be compassionate and provide um, support. Uh, we, and when you say partner, is it a man or a woman? Uh, man. Oh. You know I have saying? gone down, I've tried women, it's just not for me. You have? Yeah. You've been with women? Yeah. You had sex with him? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what made you decide to do that? I'm stunned right now. Um, I'm very curious about life, and I'm very curious about just human connection. Uh -huh. I don't think that it, it has to be a male and female thing. I think we are attracted by what we feel from another person, and it's just happened to be a woman a couple of times. Really? And so you were walking down the road, and you just feel horny for a woman? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. I think when you're coming from a deeper place in yourself and you connect with someone and it's authentic, um, it just, it is what it is. Which is, which is um, easier to be with, a man or a woman? Uh, definitely a man. Uh, and why? Well, um, I think women are a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just like the, I like the dynamic of the male and the female energy together. Where I am in my life now, it just, it's what I enjoy more. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And Michael. Yes, sir. No, not Michael, but uh, that one. Nick. Nick. <laughs> yeah. So Nick, you married? No, I'm single. Ever been married? No. Ever dated? No. You never dated? Nope. You want to date? Uh, at the moment, no. Why not? Uh, I plan on moving within a few months, and I'm not really into relationships that I know aren't going to lead anywhere. 
you take her with you. No. <laughs> no? No. Uh, is, have you ever tried to date? Are you an uh, incel? Yes. You're an incel? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> That's a waste of time. <laughs> Waste of time. What, is, what do you mean by that? Tell the people you know what an incel is. No, what's that? Do you know what it is? Do you know about? I do not. Oh, tell them what an incel is. Uh, incel is short for involuntary celibate. Basically, guys who uh, are not succeeding with relationships, but they want them. So I guess technically, since I'm not looking at the moment, I wouldn't be one. Right. But you know, it's it's a community of people on the internet that uh, so this you're hiding. You're hiding behind technology oh. already, which is disconnecting you from engaging with people in person, which is how a connection really is formed. Uh, no, no, no. Incels are people that just, guys that aren't getting sex or relationships who communicate with each other. It's, Do you spend a lot of time communicating with each other? Uh, how did you find out about that group? <laughs> um, <laughs> It, it's, Sorry. <laughs> oh, no problem. How did I find out? No about it? It's just some. Uh, it's kind of a, a popular community that okay. a lot of buzz is going on, due to media attention because they like to blow out a proportion a few, mm -hmm. a few incels that went, went crazy and mm -hmm. have committed some attacks. So an incel is a person that a man who can't get sex, right? Pretty much, yeah. So you tried and you couldn't get it. Mm, I haven't tried that much, but. Well, how you know you can't get it? Exactly. Yeah, you could get it. Maybe it doesn't necessarily mean you can. can. You just don't need it right now. You don't really you want it at this particular time. That's understood. I understand well, that. I'm a virgin and I'm 28. You're a virgin? I'm Christian. I'm choosing to wait till oh, marriage. Good. And I, I've had two serious relationships and neither of them have ever had an issue with it. And my they, current boyfriend, well, he's now just Protestant, but he grew up Mormon and like right he on. totally like respects that. And we have like a great relationship. So not everyone. Did they try to have sex with you at any point? Oh, there's different ones that have tried, but I don't let them. You just say no. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, I personally, like, I mean, I work, I was telling them also, I work as a freelance um, dating and relationship coach. And I'm not, you know, I, whatever the person my client is, like, I help them with whatever their situation is. But I, I personally tell people until you kind of like know whether you really like are interested in this person or like them, there's nothing wrong with like waiting at least a right. month to see if it's have worth Have you decided to wait until you get married? Oh, I have. Yeah, I knew oh, that right. since I was like a little girl that that's what I want to do. And I'm, I was the only one in my family that chose to do that, but that was what was right for me. So that's what I'm doing. Amazing. Awesome. Mm -hmm. But an incel person, a guy, because women are not incels, right? No, there's no yeah. such thing as fem cells. So an, in, <laughs> an incel for you guys is a male who can't get sex, right? I think I, anyone I, I think can get can. sex. I, I, I don't really agree with that definition well, because... What, yeah. I, well, tell us exactly what it is. Uh, they're not getting it, I would say. Are they it trying to get it? Yeah. You but they can't get it. It's not that they can't. They just... I think their approach is wrong. Or they're doing uh, your, something wrong. Your approach has been wrong at the, the time that you tried. Did you, was it a wrong approach? Yeah. What did you do? Uh, well, I did cold approaches, which... Cold approaches? What yeah. Cold approaches is just going up to a random person and... That's not yeah. how it's done, yeah. dude. Yeah, the fact, and the fact that you're aware of this, I almost feel like it's it's an excuse. It's how a shield it for something else that is, is how far is it yeah. more deeper than that. So you literally think you can just walk over to a woman and say, hey, I'd like to have sex with no, you. No, no, you don't do it for sex. You do it for a relationship. I'm not... Well, what would you say why, when you walked up to them? Why don't you just ask someone for like coffee or something first before you start thinking five steps ahead? Like, oh no, I never did that. I'm yeah. not talking about sex these days. No, but relationship. Every, uh, every beautiful girl, every girl that walks around <laughs> is, is so hammered everywhere they go oh, by guys. True. So yeah. you have to really, you have to really get to know them, and yeah. you can't just jump right in for sure. Yeah. That's why it's not working. Well, what sure, did you, you know? say when you approached? It? Uh, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you shy? A women? Uh, That's a yes. I would say I am introverted. Definitely. Oh, mm -hmm. so I mean, you're the problem, not the women. Mm, I'm not. Just because I am, I am the problem doesn't mean there aren't societal problems that need to change. Right, but you're the problem. You can't get a woman. In, right? in my case, I'm not even trying. Well, he's so. also only you 20. Were trying. He's 20 uh, years old. Yeah, and he's guess. got plenty yeah, of time. Yeah, you don't need a woman. You're too young. <laughs> right. How old are you again? 20. Yeah. Right. We we'll worry about it at this point, too. <laughs> and so, Alicia, you've never been married, but you've dated. Yeah. And why didn't they last? 
oh, well, this is only my second, like, boyfriend that I have right now. So, I mean... You have a boyfriend right now? Yeah. So, and we've been dating 10 months, but we plan to get married. I mean, we were pretty great matches. (laughs) Oh, how did you meet him? Um, I met him in different ways, actually. We went to the same, like, 80s club a lot. And then also, he was my hairstylist. He cut my hair. So, we kind of... But I was in a relationship at the time when, like... We were dating, and then that prior relationship was a really bad one, and then it kind of, like, after that ended, me and him got together. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, Michael, <laughs> you've been married before. Yes, sir. And how many times? Just once. And how long did it last? Uh, we were together for six years, married for four years. Oh, you lived with her beforehand? Uh, for two years, yes, sir. Really? Why did you live together? You had sex with her, too, before marriage? Yes, sir. And why did you live with her and have sex with her before marriage? Because why? Mm. I I grew up in a Baptist church, so I knew that that was wrong, and my mom told me that it was wrong too. So <laughs> <laughs> she reminded me of it. So why and did you I do just it? I just I would say that I succumbed to those feelings. I guess I why? just wanted to. I just it just do you felt like the right thing for me to do? Do you think if you had done it the right way, you'd still be with her? What's the right way? Yes, I think that if I'd done it a different way, yes. Tell her what the right way is. That's the right well, way. I mean, Climate, I think Climatized. that that relationship was based on me being a caregiver. And I, at the time, a I was caregiver? younger. Caregiver? Yeah, she, uh, she was epileptic. Was a, ma- a man, not a oh. caregiver. I know it. And at that time, I didn't know the difference between that and actual love. And I thought I was in love with this, with this girl. Really? And that's, it just, it was built on a bad foundation. And it just. Clementine, I want to know what's the right way. <laughs> I don't right? know. I think it's maybe the right way is different for everybody. Yeah, I guess. That's, that's you know, like wow, she's, she's saying know, what do you that mean the right way. Right way? Mm-hmm. I think that the way that but Alicia is doing it. You mean by the right way? Right? Well, I want to know what you mean by the right way too. You are. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, go well, Good question. <laughs> the right way would have been for me to have paid more attention to my feelings and understood how I felt and that I did not love this girl. And she didn't love me either. So it was doomed from the start. To me, it was. And, um, you know, I learned a lot from that relationship. And I have no bad feelings towards her. What have you learned from dating or being married and not doing it the right way? What have you learned? I learned that I I need to step back and look at myself and and before I try to do that again. I need to know the person better. I need to know myself mm. more, because I don't, I don't, I don't put it on her. She had an affair and she got pregnant, mm. but still. Why she was married to you? Yes, sir. Amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Isn't that amazing. But I look Happy. at it as I didn't get upset when she told me about it. I didn't get upset with her. I looked at it as, what is it that I did that pushed her away? Obviously, I can't take responsibility for what she did. But I have to take responsibility for my part in What did you do wrong? That would make I, her cause her to go out and have sex with another man and get pregnant while being married to you. Okay, so the fact that we that it wasn't real love in the beginning. Between the attraction both of you or did you? between the two of us. I mean, yeah. she felt the same way. The attraction wasn't the way that it should be. I mean, if you had seen it, you'd be like, seriously, this is kind of an odd couple. Um and so therefore, I would go hang out with my buddies. Hmm. And I had a man cave at the time, this is years <laughs> ago. I would go in the man cave during the day or whatever when she was at home. And so, I mean, I, I that's didn't problem. pay her attention. And that's what I did to cause that. Michael said he was a caregiver in the relationship. Do you want a caregiver man? No, oh, nobody wants that. I don't. <laughs> you know, what is a caregiver? Well, I think he means it in a different sense because she was epileptic. So, right? Oh, right. I just felt like. Oh, that was, you had a handicap way? Yeah. Well, she she had she was epileptic. She had seizures while she slept. Oh, that what you meant by a caregiver? Yes, sir. Oh, I see. And I, I just wanted you to like take care of her. her like a woman serving a man. Oh no, I I just uh, wanted. I felt like I needed. To, you know, somebody needed to take care of her. Oh, I see. I, oh, I felt like I was yeah, the one, right. which was a very so bad decision. Mm-hmm. What do you look for in a woman? Uh, what do I look for? What do you want from them? Um, I don't have very high expectations. Um, I, hmm. Uh, 
I, I'm aware that a lot of women today sleep around a lot, and I'm aware that of what the problems of that are. They don't make for stable wives, you know. So few sexual partners, somebody that I can, basically all I want is that I'm able to tolerate being around them. <laughs> I'm not expecting to have <laughs> tons of question? fun. I'm not looking for a friend. Wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you like women? <sighs> I, I don't know. So then, I mean, if you don't like women, then yeah. don't think that you have to be with one just because that's what's expected mm -hmm. by society. If you don't like women, I don't think a woman's going to want to be with you knowing that you don't really like her, <laughs> but you're to tolerating society. her. I mean, these are very strong words that you're using. I <laughs> tolerated, keep in mind, I tolerated the relationship that I was in, and I've done that a few times in life too, so don't do that. Don't Make do it sure because you think you it's expected of you. Are why don't you like happy women? Happy and that she's happy too. You've never had like a crush on a girl um, in high school or something like that? I'm not going to say I like or dislike. I just... Why don't you like them? I don't have much experience with them. Well, what is it that you don't like about them? Well, you just said you don't want a woman to have sex with other partners. Yep. Other men, men. What is it that you don't... What is it that you like about them? What you don't like about women? Um, I just... I don't think they're as intelligent or <laughs> as, I don't think the bond that you have with the women needs to be like a friendship or anything. I think we need to have strong male bonds and women are just there, you know, to produce the kids, to, to, <laughs> to take care of the home. How's your relationship Can I hide behind you in a second? You're gonna let me hide behind you. <laughs> Amazing. And so yeah. it's hard to find women that is willing to just be home and have babies and take care of them? Uh, well, that definitely. Most women have been convinced that it's much more fulfilling to go and get some human resources job or go to college for four plus years and just... Most women don't want to be mothers. I'm says. pretty sure I have a higher IQ than you. I graduated with honors from UC I'm Berkeley. Sure so yeah, so it's pretty insulting for you to say that you don't think women are intelligent because that's ridiculous. Would you marry a woman <laughs> with a, that went to Berkeley and has a degree? Uh, probably not. <laughs> and why not? It'd be too competitive for him. Yeah, yeah, I would want somebody that's lower IQ than me. <laughs> oh, okay. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> How did I guess you were I mean, I'm all, like, I'm already the black sheep here <laughs> in many ways. You would be horrified if you knew the life that I've lived, um, <laughs> sexually and otherwise. What do you yeah. mean by that? Um, I mean, I got a, almost 20 years on this guy. So hearing the way that he's talking, it hurts my heart for him because Somewhere in your development, which is um, questionable, you're, someone's planted this seed to tell you or to make you think that A, women are inferior, which my love, we are not. <laughs> B, we're supposed to be less intelligent than you, which means your pool is going to be pretty empty. And the fact that you think, you're thinking in terms of like, the 40s and the 50s of like women women need to be home looking after the husband and, uh, yeah I think the 40s and 50s are already when the decline was happening the 40s and the 50s only begat what we have today uh, I don't think that we can go back to that time frame without changing legal things like right now we have no fault divorce we have a system in which a woman can decide to just end the family, break apart the family for no reason at all. Women have rights. <laughs> um, yes, we do. I think both of those things were mistakes. Okay. The right to vote, no fault divorce, liberation. So, I'm so shocked to hearing this. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, I was, obviously we were raised differently. I was raised in a different time. Is he right in what he said? I, no. I, mean, I think that we should all be that's that's where all of a lot of our issues from today are coming from because women have obviously been put down and put into a lesser category and stuff like that. I think that we should be on a 
the very same plane, the very same level, and they should have the same things that we should have. Alicia, because if not, you're going to have problems. What kind of problems? I mean, you're going to have. You see how the two of them feel about this. So I mean, if 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 it was flipped around and we were treated like that, we we would feel the same way. Or at least I would say we're treated differently because we are different. Well, we are different, but that we doesn't mean one is inferior. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, what do you think about what he's saying well, and what he wants? It's pretty ridiculous, and that's why he's looking for that group online, because he's not going to find... I mean, you're not going to find an attractive, like, like, <laughs> interesting woman in that way. You'll just find, like, a psychopath. he doesn't want that. Yeah, and that's, that's <laughs> kind of sad. And I have nothing against a mother staying at home if that's what she chooses to do. I actually right. think that's, you know, if someone right. wants to do that, that's beautiful. I right. feel like everyone should do what they want, but right. they should never be forced that you need to like, or you can't work or you can't, you know, you should do what you want, but you can find a woman who, but that should be her choice, not because you're, you know, dictating how she do should you live. want a man who think that the two of you are equal? Yeah, that's what I want. If this is a battle, of, I'm not talking about a battle of the sexes. We're we all about... souls having a human experience, whether we're in a man's body or a woman's body, and it's what you bring to the table in a relationship. So we've got to be on an even playing field. We're all going to contribute differently and, and build you know, your castle together, and, but some things that I can't do, my partner will be able to do, and vice versa. But to say that one is better than the other, quite mm -hmm. simply because of their sex, is... Mm -hmm. It's um, a Neanderthal way of thinking. It's Alicia, you think men and women are equal? Well, they're equal but different. That's okay. how I define it. Because you can't say they're the same because we are different. You right. know, one's male, one's female, but we're equal in what we deserve and our rights and how we should be viewed. But has, is it true that men have been placed above the woman? That I think it's getting better that, now, yes. but yeah, it has been that way a long and time. Isn't that the way it should be? Well, no, I don't think so. You don't think it's a man's role to lead the woman? Um, I believe that a relationship between two people should be what's right for them. If there's some people that like it like that, then they can have that. But a lot of people now are more leaning towards wanting equality. And if that's what they want, then that's what they should look for. And that's what they should have. Would you prefer what? to have a man that leads you or equal to you? I mean... <laughs> I like a man to be assertive, but I don't want him leading me per se. Yeah, I mean, Why not? my relationship, we're pretty equal in how we like choose to do things. Would you want to marry a woman that's equal to you or one that you can lead? That's a, that's a very interesting question. I, I want her to have the same opportunities as me, um, but I do believe that we are meant to be a protector. Yeah. How you about to I mean? lead the woman? To lead in what way do you mean? Always. You mean the decision maker? Yeah, I mean, not the decision okay. maker because that's, well, uh, that's leading. taking. Well, leading, you mean being chivalrous, being... Respectful. I have respectful, to, I have to show, but, mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this is maybe some things that I didn't do the first time, is I didn't uh, do my part in this marriage. Mm -hmm. I didn't take the lead like you're saying, and I didn't do the things that a man is supposed to do. Why did you do I it? Was a damn, I was a kid. I was oh. a dumb kid. Oh, and man. I just didn't, I had no business doing it. Tell Clementine what do you mean by you didn't take that part and lead her the way you should. What do you well, mean I mean, that? I didn't, I wasn't the man. I wasn't what a man is supposed to be. And it's really hard to explain what a, a man <laughs> right, is supposed to be. That's Why? your but journey. I, exactly. And that's I didn't do that. You know what I mean? Fault. That's not her fault. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I took responsibility for that. But, but Clementine, don't you want a man that will lead you? No. You feel like you're equal to a man? Absolutely. In what way? In every way. Well, how can that be? Because I am, a man. My own, I am my own person, and I have my own life experiences and my own, my my own treasure trove to to draw from 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 my experiences. Where it, but you, you want know, to be able people, to love a man that does not lead you. If he's equal to you, you're not going to love him. Absolutely, I am. I have been in love before. Have and been. Where's that love now? It I rest my case. I think no. it's, I think it's the a, relationship ran its course. Mm -hmm. We grew apart. I needed to go mm -hmm. and and grow as an individual, and I was no longer in love with him the way that I was in the beginning because we were growing up together. But if he had been leading you, you'd be following right now. 
No, I wouldn't. <laughs> it's all about finding Sorry. the proper balance, honestly, because I do personally, like I'm Christian, I believe in a lot of certain traditional values, but I still believe in equality. For example... But as a Christian, don't you believe a man should lead a woman well, be the head of her? See, I personally don't view it in that way. Like what but I think is I do view... Well, I, you know, you don't have to completely... Everyone has their different views of how they, there's so many different sects of uh, denominations and different views of how people practice their own Christianity. And I don't like anyone putting on me like, this is the right Christian, this is the perfect Christian. There are so many variants of Christians. And Christianity is a very spiritual yeah. practice mm -hmm. if you, at its core. Um, the, the, the writings that, that we take and we break it down, a lot of that's been askewed over time. But the spirituality of Christianity is to be equal and to love one another. It's not about one being a leader and one being a follower in that respect. What do you say to that? Uh, about Christianity? Uh, about uh, the man should lead the woman. Uh, I'd need a little bit more detail on what you mean by that. The man is the head of the woman. He should be the head of the house. How about sure. of the woman? Uh, sure. So I believe in equality, but I also like the ideas personally of femininity and masculinity. So me, I personally do like, my, my boyfriend is more masculine than I am. So I do like, the, for me myself, like I like the door being opened or I like if I felt like I was in danger, he's gonna come over and take care of me. Or, you know, you know, like sometimes going out and him paying for dinner, but not being completely like taken care of. Cause I, you know, we, we have similar incomes and I work hard and have lots of different um, jobs. So that I believe in equal of just like abilities and intelligence, but I do believe in chivalry, like he was saying, and I like a man who's going to like, kind of in, you know, find me endearing to him, you know, so, but everyone will have chivalry different is, types of relationships. You want a Some, chivalry man? Yeah, chivalry is difficult. In this town, chivalry is dead. In this town, <laughs> in this town, it's difficult. I've had girls actually get upset with me for mm -hmm. opening the door or standing oh. up when they sit and stuff like that. Well, and so, that's the and problem. The and South. then a lot of men feel like they shouldn't do that anymore. Right. But then there's plenty of girls that still like that. I still do it, regardless if they like it or not. I and still, that's still the do difficulty it. now where it's like no one knows what to do anymore because so many people are saying this and so many people are saying that. And that's why it's just you need to try to find yeah. it's Let me tell really you hard. Open 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 you. If I would like a man to want to open a door for me, he doesn't have to. I can open it for myself, but it's nice when they do it. Yeah. But you mm -hmm. wouldn't mind if he didn't. I no, I don't think that it's necessary, but I think it's a nice gesture. Yeah. Depending on the person, that's a sign of a more that's an intimate thing, or um, you can tell a person's upbringing when they naturally do that. Um, I think there's one very important word that's not being brought up in this case with respect to men and women, and that is respect. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I don't need a man to lead me, but I do need, I want to be able to respect him as a man as he would respect me as a woman. What did Nick say that made you two a little upset about what he said? What was he wrong and what he said? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> The number one thing was that I don't need my wife to be my friend. That's kind of right. like sad to me. What, what's sad about that? Well, is that like that's your life partner? That's who you're doing He's life with. Partner. That's what happened and with me. <laughs> what? I, I, we weren't friends, and therefore we didn't work through anything. We just. You want your wife to be we, your friend? I, I definitely. I want her to be my best friend. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Would you tell the woman your problems? Your wife. Would you tell her your problems? I would like to be able to be comfortable enough to, yes. You will want to be, as a man, you will want to be, you will want to be comfortable enough to tell your wife your problems. Mm -hmm. Would you want your man to tell you his problems? Yeah, my boyfriend does all the time. He does? Yeah. He cries on your shoulder? Well, he, not <laughs> literally crying on my shoulder, but I'm the first person he calls or goes to when he's having a problem. Really? Yeah. Would you tell a woman your problem? Mm, not if it's <laughs> anything serious. No. And why not? Uh, I would discuss my problems with men. <laughs> and why is that? Uh, I feel like we could relate more and come to a better solution. Would you want your man to tell you his problems? They always do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> always. Oh, another thing. I, I think women don't really like to see weakness, right. so that probably wouldn't be very What is weakness? Effective. You mean vulnerability? Sure. You can call it that. I think a lot, of them, a lot of them like vulnerability in this day and age. It's really? only human. Are to you a be vulnerable man? I allow myself to be sometimes, I guess. Vulnerable? 
How you allow yourself to be vulnerable? You decide today I'm just going to be weak. <laughs> like if I have trust in a, if I have a trust in a uh, in a girl that I'm with, and I, you know, am very very good friends with her, then I would open up to her. You're like, oh, I had a rough day. That old boss was mean, <laughs> and I couldn't handle it. I would, yeah. It's, but that means you would. I think some. I mean, I have sometimes. She can't do anything about it. She can't but even handle her own that's stuff. That's not weakness. <laughs> But That's woman, not weakness at all. But a woman can't even handle her own problems. <laughs> my last relationship, my boyfriend couldn't handle shit. I was taking care of everything. So that's not true. And that's why I got the hell out of that relationship. That's awesome. So there's men that like that. So why would you get with another man? He's, no, who he's, can, no, he's. Who have to tell you his problem? What can you do oh, about it? Oh, no, him? but he doesn't have as many problems. But he shouldn't tell you any of them. Well, I don't agree with you that. You don't think that? There's nothing you can do about communication it. I think communication is one of the biggest things in a relationship. Just listening, I think, helps a lot of times. No, I, if you think a woman can't do anything about him, you should call my ex boyfriend ask him how much shit I did for him. And you'll be, you'll think that's amazing. <laughs> you're a better man than him. Right? Yeah. Oh, if you want to call it that way, sure. I don't, I don't have a problem saying you that. You love weak men like that? No. That's why that was a really bad relation. That was oh, a mistake. I was just one. young and stupid. Yeah. And yeah. my current relationship, it's very equal and it's great. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what was your question for me? What is weakness or something? Um, oh, no. I was asking, like, you don't, as a man, you don't think that you tell your wife, your partner, your problems? You think that a that's me? A man should never, ever, 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 never, 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 ever, ever, but never, ever tell a woman his weakness. She can't handle it. Women can't even have their own problem. They need to be able to look up to the man so he can show them how to overcome it. Women don't know how to overcome problems. That's why they trip out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. You know, right? Why do I that's see more so homeless funny. men on the streets then? <laughs> because they're weak. <laughs> that's they're beta males, right? <laughs> you know, right? They're weak. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that women are more weak. I, I mean, more women are graduating from college. Tell them why. It's because is. a woman will have everything taken care of for her. The man. Right. No, she won't. She I've been taking man? care of myself pretty much my whole life. Mm -hmm. My father left my mother with two children and no money. My mm. mother took care of me mm. and my brother and raised mm. us. Not my father. Mm. I can vouch for Clementine. She's very. I am honestly very one girl. of the most independent but, women yeah, you mm -hmm. could meet. But and there is no definitely. man on this planet who is going to take that away from me. And the ones that I want to be around and that I spend time with actually celebrate it and embrace it. And they're the ones that actually come to me. I do not see them as weak when they come to me to talk. They just know that I can give them some Men good advice. Men tell you their problems? Absolutely, all the time. And you tell them, they, do you feel sorry for them? Not at all. Uh, do you see them as weak? Not at all. They what? are my brothers. I love them but to But what pieces. can you do about their problem? You're a woman. I have life experience. But it's not about being a woman. It's about what we have overcome as human beings. I think this idea of a man and a woman breaking it down into sex is it's destroying society and we've got to start thinking of ourselves as human beings, just living beings. Who is strong as, stronger, men or women? I can't answer that. Why it's not? like saying, it's, it's, I can't answer that because you're, you're separating it into two, it's a very generalized th statement. Like, men or women. There are some women who are stronger than some men, and there are some men who are stronger than some women. Who's stronger, men or women? I agree with what she just said. It what? varies, but as a ge generally, men. men. Generally, women. We're the ones that give birth to you, boys. <laughs> well, birth is a curse. When women have babies, they're being cursed. Really? Because Otherwise, you wouldn't of, be here. Because of their disobedience. They are cursed. How, not, how is human I, life supposed to? You know how much pain women born. have having babies? That's a curse. That's not a blessing. Pain is <laughs> wow. not always bad. Having a baby is. That's why they do C-sessions. That's why they have to kill the pain. Because that's not a blessing for a woman to have a baby. That's a curse. You don't understand <laughs> physical pain then the way that women do. You what clearly do you haven't experienced it the way that, like, I have a high pain threshold. You know, pain is like something that of the mind that you can actually switch off a little bit I if know, you but meditate just, and just you breathe. Just FYI, free. women taking pride in having babies and think they're tougher than men because they can have a baby, that's not a good sign. That's a I curse. I don't think it. It's just a fact. Oh. We give birth to you. Men don't. But you're forced to. 
There's no curse for to. disobeying what was right. Uh, no. Who are stronger, men or women? Well, in most circumstances, I think men are physically stronger, no, but mentally, mentally and equal. emotionally and everything. I don't, I don't believe it's equal to me. Really? Yeah, completely. But well, isn't an emotion man? And a I won't say that women are more strong. I really believe in equality. So I, it's hard for me to accept the concept of being a feminist because I straight up believe in equality. So I just believe in equality. I don't consider myself a feminist. I think we're all equal on, on all mental planes. So mm-hmm. I don't think one is better than the other. So I just, I mean, I believe in equality. Who's stronger, men or women? Mm. Men are supposed to be physically stronger, obviously, right. but in this day and age. But not physically, emotionally. Just emotionally. I know a lot of, I've, I've met a lot of men who are more emotional than, than women these are days. Are those women? Those are not real men. I look at them as, basically as women, correct? Right, see? Yes, sir. Men know that an emotional man is a woman. <laughs> and women know that too. But they'll do it, they'll take him just to control him, but they don't really have any respect. They act more emotional than, than women. Some of the people that I have interacted yeah. with and, and, and known, yes. Is that true? I just disagree with it all. So. Well, there are some men that are more feminine, but then there's some women that are more masculine, so they work out together. Right. Ronda so, Rousey. I just have a problem with all the labels. Oh. All of these labels are just... You're pigeonholing. You're, you're you're trying to pigeonhole. Um, but it's set up human experience. Pretty, is there such a thing as a strong woman? I think so. How about you? Yeah. Is there? Sure. How about you? Yes, of course. I have to tell you, no such thing as a strong woman. They're just weak men. Women are not strong. Men are weak. Any man that thinks that a woman is strong is a weak man. So that's why he said yesterday. But a real man, no, women are not strong because women need. Look how crazy the women are getting today that don't have real men. Look at the, the homes. When the men are gone or not there, the homes go nuts. The woman drives the kids crazy. They mess up everything. And look at the Based schools. Based on what? What are you basing this on? The kids grow up angry, emotional, doubtful. The boys don't know if they're a woman, boy or girl. They grow up angry. And look at the schools. When men left the schools and women became principals and teachers at schools, well, they've been teachers for a while, but men were leading. The, the violence and the crime and the, uh, the mass you mean shooting the domestic and everything violence? started in the schools. Have you noticed that? Yeah, but that's but that a different started with topic. Women. I mean, Is uh, that right? No. No, I mean, no, obviously. No, that did not start until women became preachers, I mean, uh, teachers and principals. <laughs> what didn't start? The uh, mass shootings and crime and having to put up bullet protections at the door before you can get. That started when women took over school. Am I right? No. Uh, Clementine? No, you're wrong. <laughs> you're actually wrong. When did it start? You think about it. It did not start until women, when men, when women became principals and, and vice principals. It didn't do that under the men. Based on what facts? Growing up. When I was growing up, men were in charge. No such thing as mass shooting. No, but there's domestic no such violence. Thing what? As violence. A lot of domestic violence. Well, you're right. Women doors. are domestic violence no, toward men. Men, but men being domestically violent towards the women no, and not the true. children. That happened because of the internet, and that may coincide. Yeah, that's not true. That may happen to coincidentally be at the same time when more women were becoming principals, but I honestly think the internet and people always going on sites and not communicating in person and not having regular social women skills made people more just crazy right? and shooting people. Um, to be honest, women cannot. Look at the government controlled by women. All hell breaking loose. <laughs> Isn't that right? No. <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, I would say yeah. <laughs> and why do you say yes? Yeah? So, so the young ladies understand. Why do you say yes? Um, women just generally aren't creative or good at problem solving. And, uh, that's right. Would you agree? Look at how screwed up things are and women are taking over. No. no the women are coming in and cleaning all. house, actually. <laughs> right. In the wrong way, though. Mm-hmm. With mess. The mess that the men made? The no. Women are cleaning it up? The women making the mess. No. We didn't make this mess that we're in right now. The men did. No, the women did. Do you agree? <laughs> Nobody made the mess. An individual did. It doesn't matter whether they're a male or female. Oh, no, female. there was a cabinet. There, there is, was a cabinet of men that made yeah, this mess. Yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying is I think men and women are e- have equal problems and are equally great. So if it happened to be that there were men in office when there were problems or happened to be women, that's just those individuals, not because right, they were a man or a woman. Do you agree that everything went out of control in government and, and, and in the world and the family when women took over? 
I don't know when it happened. I know it's out of control now. It's and, uh, like horribly out of control, but I don't know when. Was it like that? You and I from the same school. Right, when was we were kids. Was it like that before women took over? When I was a kid, it wasn't like that. I rest my case. But I, I, I'm, I don't know that it's I because rest my case. of. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. I don't. One small. No, I'm talking example. about the home. I'm talking about the schools. Your I'm talking whole about government. Great big world. We were talking about this the other night. Uh, Clementine and I were talking about it. I said, when I was a kid, I did, I did believe that, that men were probably the more, um, I guess, the more powerful yes. uh, gender. But as I've gotten older, I, I see how most men act. Because women take it over. They're and raised it seems by like, women. <laughs> it seems like <laughs> right? you know, women are, are more powerful. Then how does point. that mean that the men are stronger than if that's happening? Women, are, women keep women, house. Men have given up power. Okay, so how, doesn't that mean they're weak then? We call women. We've have, been weak for about a hundred years. Yeah, right. since women have laws that goes against men, and then they pretend they're strong. Men don't pass laws to go against women because they're naturally strong. They can handle the woman, but women need laws to help them pretend they have strength. They're no, not naturally we need, stronger we need to need have laws. a say. We need our voices heard. But if you were naturally strong, you wouldn't be thinking, "I need to have my say." You'd be having it. I do have it. No, but you're around a bunch of weak men. Tell them, Michael. No, is it Michael I'm, your not, prayer? I'm not around a bunch of weak men. I'm actually around some of the best human mm. beings I know, but and they're very, they very strong. Problems. Very strong men. They tell you their problems. Absolutely. But real men would never tell you their problems. They just will shoot <laughs> someone when they're mad. No, <laughs> they're not letting their problems out. The only out. men that shoot, <laughs> the only men that shoot other people are men who have been raised by single women. <laughs> Because they have the or by gun loving no. men uh, houses no, full of men. True. They have the mother's nature, and the mother nature is angry and violent, and so the boys that ca are carrying out yeah. the mother's nature. <laughs> Isn't that true? I don't agree at all, you but know, I do agree, agree that it's better to have uh, both parents. In I agree, a family. single motherhood is horrible. Yeah, I agree yeah, with that. It is better to have both there, but I mean yes. that doesn't mean that women are well, weak. Wh why though. do you think? Why I do think, you think? And why is it that the women usually end up taking them, like ninety-five percent of, of the cases? Because the law is against the man. The man well, wants because the children, child but wants the to be lie. with the mother. Right. My dad. Oh, me, me. My dad wanted to take me and my brother yes. with him. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. He, he went. Have, he went. He couldn't have started your another family. He couldn't have your mother because your mother was his mother. He was married to his mother. Oh, you don't know anything about my family. I so guarantee you, he loved make... you guys, but he couldn't have your mother. He didn't want to leave you. But he was married to his I mother. I don't you know have right? abandonment issues with my about my father. Oh, I had are. I had a very strong male role model in my life growing up. Was that your father? No, it wasn't my father. It was are my uncle. Are you close to your father? Um. He's my dad. Are you close to your father? No. Are you close to your father? Mm, pretty close. I'm yeah. close to my how about, uncle. How about you? Extremely. Extremely. Mm -hmm. See the difference? How about you? I was close to him, but not as close as I look back as I wish I had been yeah. before he passed. What is love? Love is being. Love is compassion. Love is understanding. It's an acceptance. What is love, Michael? I mean, uh, Nick. Uh... A buzzword, pretty much. <laughs> what is love? Love is just feeling something about someone that makes you want to always spend time with them and being able to relate to them and communicate with them and tell your problems with them and feel better when you're talking to your problems because they make you feel better. They build you up. And if you're not ever discussing your problems, then you just always feel low. You what need someone for that. You say what? You need someone to talk to about those things. Are you with a man that's that way now? Yeah. He love you. You love him. Yeah, a lot. What is love? I think love is unconditional. Or it's meant to be unconditional. What does that Somebody mean? Somebody that you. Well, obviously, I'll speak for myself. I I want to be with a partner who loves me. A man. When I'm having a <laughs> with a woman. Oh. When I'm having a, a the worst day of my life. <laughs> And not, well, said, not judge me. Gay term, so I, okay. <laughs> me and Norman so, say my woman, well, right, woman right. Or the wife woman or. that I'm with, I, I, I want to be with somebody that's, you know, doesn't judge me, okay. and doesn't try to fix me. And that's what stuff love like is. That. Mm -hmm. So I got to go around the room really fast. What's a man? I, not a male. We know what a male is. What's a man? A man who's is uh, a male that takes responsibility for his actions. I think. What's a man? Um, someone who works hard and 
cares about you know his his girlfriend or wife and opens the door for her and takes her out for dinner sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Pay for it. Yeah. What's a man? <laughs> An adult male. What's a man? <laughs> 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 a man a, is someone who is thoughtful, kind, strong when he has to be, vulnerable when he chooses to be, and is not afraid of a strong woman. That's should a, a man. Could a man handle you? Have you ever met a man that could handle you? Yeah. You, and where is he now then? I wasn't in love with him. Oh. Have you ever met a man that could handle you? Oh, <laughs> not Alicia. Not a lot have, but my current one can, and that's why we work out really well. Are you difficult to handle? Well, I have a lot going for me, and a lot of men don't want to be with someone that's <laughs> really smart and really hardworking and can get what they want. They're intimidated by it. Would you have sex before? Oh, no, you don't. So you Should, should a man and a woman have sex oh, before that's marriage? Up to, that's up to them. Is it the right thing to do? I think the right thing is different for different people. Is it the right thing It's the thing right thing for me. Is it the right thing to do to have sex before marriage? If you're a Christian, you should wait till marriage. What do you say? Should a man and woman have sex before marriage? Well, Christianity doesn't, doesn't allow it, but I would have a hard time not doing that. Should they do it? If they're a Christian, they shouldn't have it, correct? Otherwise, if they're not a Christian, they should? Well, if they're not a Christian, then it doesn't matter to them, I guess. Well, there are still some people who want to wait because they want to wait. You could even be an atheist and want right. to wait. Should a man and woman have sex before marriage? Mm, it's not good for society. Should they have sex before marriage? Mm, probably not. No. Should they have... Uh, what do you say? Should a man and woman have sex before <laughs> well, marriage? Well, considering I'm not married and I've had a lot of sex, <laughs> um, sure. I think the more important question is when is it appropriate to actually start having sex? And I think that teenagers are having sex too young. I think people should wait until they're young adults. So late teens, early 20s, you can start that whole thing. But I think my, I, my biggest Why issue is Why do you have so people. much sex? Um, <laughs> Why not? I think yeah. that honestly, sex is something that has changed. My relationship to sex has changed as I've gotten older. Um, I certainly don't have it as much as I used to, but why, by choice. Why did you need so much before? Because I was exploring myself and my relationships with different people. Oh. And it's, it's, an in, it's an interesting, like there's an interesting um, Comparison, like sex when I was in my 20s and now in my 30s. It's much better in my 30s than it was in my 20s. I see. But Men who have sex with guess. women before marriage would cheat on them after marriage. Hmm. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Did you? Good thing I'm not married. Yeah. Did you know that? Mm. Yeah, I guess. I wanted to, you said, why not have sex before marriage? Or why not have lots of sex? It's because you're destroying your ability to pair bond. To what? Pair bond. But um, you don't even care about a bond. <laughs> uh, I do for the purpose of having stable marriages, yeah. Wow. Well, the more sexual partners, more likely a divorce. I'm not actually looking to get married, so You're I'm not... looking to have connections with people. It, that, that's the problem I have with most of you guys' way of thinking. None of it will result <laughs> in more children. It's going to be. I don't want children. It'll be a dead society. Yeah, it's just what you're the advocating. The world is overpopulated already, so there are a lot of children out there that need homes. I'd rather adopt than have a child of my own at this point. Well, that's actually not true for the United States. There's been a huge decline, right. and yeah, they act and, and Europe too. Oh, it's white. like the average family. I was adopted. If it wasn't actually, you know, I'm half Mexican, and if it wasn't for the Hispanic population in the United States, we wouldn't even be able to keep a family unit. And within 50 years, the whole family unit would just be destroyed because if you're not having more than, I think it's 2.1 children per family within 100 years, the entire um, race will basically disintegrate. Wow. So you have to have two per family. So now you got to get married and have some white babies. But it we, it <laughs> seems like that in LA, but it's crazy how I mean, you could just think about it like you, like your parents, and then prior to that, like how less children are being had, and it's kind of scary that like we make like it. I have friends that are having lots of babies, so mm -hmm. they're like making up for mine. <laughs> oh well, that's okay if you'd want to. But I'm just saying in general, like yeah. the less that we're having few, it's like our the United States could kind of as a whole culture disappear. 
Amazing. Uh -huh. um, do you hope to remarry Michael? I mean, yeah, Michael. If I find the right one, I've kind of dated. I've had a little bit of a um, wild ride with dating. And but stuff, you can't so. be a woman with him. You can't be a nurturer. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna do that one again. My last question for you. Then I have a final question for everybody. I know a guy who been chasing up in women, could not find the right one. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't call him, they don't respond to taxes, and this guy was having a hissy fit, right? Mm -hmm. And then he finally met a good woman that loves him, want to be with them, and now he doesn't want this woman. What do you say to that? <laughs> Keep trying. Keep yeah. going until you find the right one. But I mean, there. why should there have to be a specific time frame? Like me, for example, like after my... Okay, so I had one boyfriend before this one, but my last one was when I was 16. So I went through a span where I probably went on like 50 to 100 different dates. I went around all different kinds of guys and I never slept with them, but none of them really were what I wanted. And the problem is so many people just want to be in a relationship. They're afraid to be single. They can't be independent. So they just say, oh, this person's good enough. And then they commit to them. And that's a problem. Just wait. You have plenty of well, how time. About if this guy has one that's really good, she's pretty. She loves him. Doesn't mean that it's she, not fair right to her. Right, if he right. doesn't love her, it's not fair to her because it's inevitable at some point he'll leave her. So better leave her sooner than uh, later. Yeah. And you, but he's gonna uh, once he leaves her, he's gonna be chasing after women again and complaining he can't find one. Sounds like he's the one with the problem, though, right? You think so? Yeah. What do you say, Clementine? I feel that with relationships, you know, sometimes we're chasing this idea that we need to be with someone else to be complete and to be mm -hmm. whole and until we right. actually love ourselves and don't and 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 know that but he got a good woman though that but that him. i'm sure she's an amazing woman yeah, she is. but it doesn't mean that she's right for him but why not he chased all these bad women and they but don't want that's his him. journey that's his journey oh. cuz clearly these experiences are teaching him more about himself I've had, it's, like, it's been like a roller coaster. So, I mean, I've, you know, department store clerks, supermodels, playmates, Whoa. actresses, whatever. And it's been, well, you've been too weak off the them, rails. And w mm -hmm. in the past, I have, I have found myself doing that. Let me do a light week, man. You got to have respect, respect for yourself. Which is, which is what Clinton Yeah, man is a man who does that not know who That has to start. Is or what he wants. If you don't that respect is it. yourself. What? A weak man, because you use this term weak, which, mm -hmm. which implies a physical thing. Right. A weak man, or a weak woman even, yeah, is someone who I'm doesn't know who they are. I'm talking about emotionally, inwardly. Real men know what they want. They know how to lead. That's why they lead the woman, because women don't yeah. know what they want. I do. And so mm -hmm. they show women what they need. I don't need I've a man to show me what I need. Women don't know what they want. I've always I do. What I want. Isn't that right, uh, Nick? Women don't know what they want. Uh, oh, I agree. Don't. That's why arranged marriages work. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what Clementine said, I really agree with because I work, I was telling them I work as a freelance dating coach. And I, some people may contest to this, but I personally believe that dating is a numbers game. I think when you're young, you it should is. get out there and date yeah. a lot of people. This person, you realize, I didn't like that about them. I'm not yeah. going to find that. I'm not going to do that with the next person. But this person, okay, it didn't work out, but you really like that they treated you this way in a certain way. So you know for the next one, okay, I want to be treated like that again but not like that person and eventually as you grow in time from getting experience you That's find out what you want so who you're talking about that he feels that that you're girl isn't right yeah you learn a lot he about should, yourself by dating yeah he should okay well from that Human experience now he yes. knows yeah exactly there's well, something about it. her i didn't person. like Interaction. so the next yeah. person he looks for someone who's different and if he sees those qualities coming out again he right. knows right away i'm right. gonna get out of here and look right. for someone else more often than not what's highlighted is i know that this is what i don't want Mm -hmm. Right. You know, we don't always know what it is that we want until it you presents it. itself yeah. and we experience mm -hmm. it. It's easier it's, to find out what you don't want than what you want. It's harder for her to deal like with that. him than for him to deal with her. Mm -hmm. She's putting up with more crap than he is. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? Well, I mean... It ultimately, if he still doesn't want to be with her, no matter how much crap she's putting up with, then that's kind of even a better answer to let her be. Sign. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Should a man look for a woman? No. Should a woman look for a man? No, I guess. So, I mean, if she wants to, I don't know. Should a woman look for a man? 
I'm an individualist, so I can't say yes or no. That's if she wants to, go ahead. Should a, wo- a man look for a woman? Mm, yeah. Should a, 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 a woman look for a man? Should she put herself out there? Should mm-hmm. she look for a man? It's a, that's a, it's a weird question. Um, <laughs> I think she, be, she should be open to meeting. Should she look for a man? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then my two quick, I'm, I'm so out of time, excuse me. What's a woman? What's a woman? I'm a woman. What is it? Um, self-aware, vulnerable when she has to be, strong when she needs to be, um, a nurturer, a caregiver, a provider. Um, she's whole. Amazing. What's a woman? Adult female. What's a woman? Um, sensitive and understanding, but also able to take care of herself when she wants or needs to. What's a woman? I do a woman for me. No, what is a woman? What is a woman? Um, Not an ideal woman for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm going to go along the same lines of what Clementine said. I mean, I think that a, a woman is, you know, aside from the female aspect, they're powerful, they're independent, they are caring, loving, nurturing. Amazing. You tell Clementine your problems? I haven't talked to Clementine in a while. We just connected Have recently. you told her your problems? Have I ever told me? We shared some problems. We uh, have shared. We yes. did share some. We've you tell problems. her your problems? We have talked to, about a couple yeah. of things. Do yes. you tell her your problems? I did. Beta! <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> it had to come. <laughs> and my final question, did you have fun? Yes. Did you have fun? That's great. On this show? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> did you have fun? Sure. Thank you all. <laughs> and thank you all for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and comment. We love hearing from you, all right? And don't forget to merch on thefallingstate.tv. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you all. Yeah. Appreciate it. Next time on The Fallen State. Do you agree with me that women are too emotional in comedy now? It's case by case. Have you ever met? You're emotional. You're a very emotional person. Uh, have you ever met a woman in comedy? Ignore that. See how you ignore this? Do you agree with me that every man who has anger is a woman? What? <laughs> no, I do not agree with you at all. Why not? Where, where, where are you getting these facts? Is this Wikipedia? Where Dude, are you getting your research? Rebuildingtheman.com. You'll see it. Oh, wait, wait. You sound like Hillary Clinton. We going to your site for the facts? Yeah. <laughs> Go to my website to get the truth. <laughs> so do you agree that? No, you don't be- start. Why do you start every sentence with, do you agree? <laughs> Give me the facts first and then I'll tell you if I agree. People don't understand context. People just hear what they want to hear and then they just go, oh, you know, they, they jump to conclusion. Like you, you jump to conclusions. What about you know what I mean? conclusion? <laughs> like, like if you, you ask a question and you go, oh, that, mu- that must mean you like the opposite. And it just doesn't work like that. Amazing. Oh, here we go. You just. <laughs> Okay, so what kind of male are you? Alpha! Just because you yell it don't mean it's true. Thanks for watching The Fallen State. We need your continued support. Donate to my nonprofit here. Subscribe and like the videos here. And tell everybody and their mama about the show.